Welcome back to our channel fellow tech enthusiast. Today we have an exciting topic for all of you. We are aspiring to dive into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence and deep learning. We are going to discuss the deep learning and junior roadmap. Whether you are a beginner or already have some experience, this roadmap will guide you through the essential steps to become a proficient deep learning engineer. So let's get started. Before that, if you are one of the aspiring deep learning enthusiasts looking for online training and graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers in deep learning by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and ML in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM. The course link is mentioned in the description box below that will navigate you to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like and press on the bell icon to never miss on future content. So let's get started. So first we'll understand the basics. And starting with the basics, we'll start with what is deep learning. So deep learning often touted as an attempt to replicate human brain learning, operates through intricate mathematical functions enabling computers to perform tasks similar to humans. For instance, it underpins groundbreaking technologies like driverless cars as well as voice activated assistants such as Siri and Amazon Alexa. In practice, deep learning empowers computers to learn directly from various data formats such as images, text or audio. Through this process, computer models achieve remarkable accuracy, occasionally surpassing human level performance. It's not just about mimicking human cognition. It's about harnessing the immense computational power to expect vast amounts of data and extract meaningful patterns. The backbone of deep learning consists of neural networks, interconnected nodes that process data through layers, each layer defining the representation of the data. Training these networks involve adjusting parameters to minimize errors and improve accuracy, a process resembling the human learning experience, albeit on a vastly accelerated scale. While data and computational challenges exist, the field continues to evolve. Research and innovation are driving deep learning forward, opening doors to improved image recognition, natural language understanding, medical diagnostics and more. The promise of unsupervised learning and the integration of deep learning into diverse industries paints an exciting future for this transformative technology, impacting the way we interact with machines and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So this was all about the basics and about the deep learning. Now we'll see why we should learn deep learning. So it's a game changer in various aspects, offering state of the art performance, scalability with data, reduced feature engineering and transferability across tasks. Firstly, deep learning shines where traditional machine learning algorithms struggle. Speech recognition, image classification and object detection are areas where deep learning algorithms like CNNs, Convolutional neural networks and recurrent neural networks RNNs excel due to their specialized architectures, pushing the boundaries of what's achievable. Moreover, as data becomes abundant, deep learning's performance continues to improve. Unlike classical machine learning algorithms which plateau in performance with more data, deep learning algorithms thrive on it, offering a scalable solution for the ever-expanding datasets. Another significant advantage is the reduced need for intricate feature engineering. Traditional methods often require complex manual feature extraction. In deep learning, the emphasis is on learning directly from the data, reducing the burden of feature engineering and making it more accessible for beginners. Additionally, deep learning models are transferable. Pre-trained networks such as VGG16, ResNets and MobileNet can be leveraged as feature extraction tools for related tasks. This accelerates model training and enhances performance, especially when faced with limited data and computational resources. In essence, deep learning empowers you with cutting-edge skills, enabling you to tackle complex problems, scale with data and achieve impressive results without the need for extensive feature engineering. Its transferability across tasks provides a strategic advantage, making it an invaluable skill for modern AI and machine learning practitioners. So these were the points that show us why we should learn deep learning. And before moving on to the rare road, and before moving on to the roadmap to become a deep learning engineer, we have a course offering for you. That is, if you are one of the aspiring deep learning enthusiasts looking for online training or a professional who elicits to switch careers in deep learning by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to Caltech AI and ML Bootcamp. That is in collaboration with Simply Learn. And the link to this bootcamp is mentioned in the description box below that will navigate you to the 
bootcamp page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. Now moving on to the roadmap to become an deep learning engineer. So learning deep learning as a beginner involves several essential steps, each building upon the previous to develop a comprehensive understanding and practical skills in this field. So the first is learn and master Python. So Python is the foundation for many deep learning libraries and frameworks. Start by mastering Python syntax, data structures and basic programming concepts. It's essential to be comfortable with Python as you will use it extensively for coding deep learning models. And moving on to the next step, that is mathematics for deep learning. Develop a solid understanding of the mathematical concepts behind deep learning. This includes linear algebra, that includes vectors, matrices, operations, then we have calculus, in that we have differentiation, integration, and then we have statistics, that includes probability and distributions. These concepts are vital to grasp the inner workings of neural networks. And then we have neural networks, the third step, that is dive into the core of deep learning, understanding neural networks, explore topics like loss functions, that is how the model measures its performance, activation functions, that is which add non-linearity to the network, then we have weight initialization that is critical for model convergence and the vanishing or exploding gradient problem that is a challenge in deep networks. Then we have the next step that is architectures. So familiarize yourself with various neural network architectures. Start with feed forward neural networks which form the basis for many models. Progress to auto encoders, convolutional neural networks CNNs for image tasks recurrent neural networks RNNs for sequential data, transformers for NLP tasks, Siemens networks for similarity comparison, generative adversarial networks GNs for generating data and explore evolving architectures like NEAT, neuroevolution of augmenting topologies. And now moving on to the next step that is learning tools and frameworks. So learn to work with popular deep learning tools and frameworks, familiarize yourself with TensorFlow, PyTorch, Keras and MLflow. These tools simplify model development and management. So after this step, you should learn the model optimization. So understand techniques for model optimization. This includes distillation that is knowledge transfer from large models to smaller ones. Quantization, reducing model size without significant loss of performance. And neural architecture search that is automated methods to find optimal network architectures. Then you should have hands-on projects to practice on, that is apply what you have learned by working on hands-on projects. Start with simple tasks and gradually tackle more complex problems. Implement the different architectures you have learned, use the frameworks and experiment with model optimization techniques. By following this structured approach, you will build a strong foundation in deep learning, enabling you to create, train and optimize neural networks for various tasks. The combination of theoretical understanding and practical experience Gain from hands-on projects will equip you to explore advanced topics and contribute to the exciting field of deep learning. And the field of deep learning is rapidly evolving. So stay updated with the latest research papers, new techniques and emerging technologies. Engage with the AI community through forums, blogs and conferences. And consider joining AI-focused online communities and attend conferences like Neural PS, CVPR or ICML. And there you have it, the deep learning engineer roadmap. Remember, this journey requires dedication, continuous learning and a passion for solving complex problems. Whether you are aiming to work in industry, research or both, this roadmap will set you on the right path. If you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.